Alrighty guys, and welcome back to more Bravely Second. We are here about to get the last Redux asterisk from uh, this side quest. And uh, what we're going to do is rest at the end first. And then we're going to go into that dungeon and pretty much... Uh, this is not the uh, end. I don't know what I was thinking. That is not the end. This is the end. Not the end, but the end where you rest and sleep. And now we're going to go into the dungeon and do this last side quest, and then we're going to proceed with the uh, mandatory quest. With the campaign of the game, I guess you can say. Working hard or hardly working. Alright, here we go. All right, so we just gotta go straight in here and we'll get to the uh, boss. That's pretty cool. Hopefully, I don't have to, you know, do everything with the switches again or I'll be kind of salty. I'm kind of salty because now I have to redo everything again. Why? They're there. They're there, right? So it's like, how did they get there? Why isn't, it, why isn't the path open? How in the hell did they get in there? Somebody explain to this. Somebody explain me this. Please. Alright, so we gotta go flick a switch or two. As soon as I flick this switch, I'm using a teleport stone. I think I got time for all this backtrack. I'm trying to be as uh, efficient as possible. There's actually a blue chest we need to get here. Flip the switch. I don't know why they make you do this over again. Because I'm not trying to be bothered by the new enemies here. So, what we're going to do now is use a teleport stone to speed everything up. Hmm. You said there was esports shows shown on TBS? Oh, like the Mortal Kombat? I know they have a, like a Mortal Kombat Championship, ESL or something. Is, is that what you're talking about, uh, Q? Because I know the eSports stuff has some stuff with a Mortal Kombat and maybe another game. But I could be wrong. I'm not sure if they have League of Legends stuff on like TV. But that's like... I can't wait until we get our own like couple of channels just focusing on competitive game and that's going to be it. That's it, dude. I mean, right now Twitch is already... Like, you can get all this stuff on the internet for free, but... Put that on cable TV and that's... It's... it's it's a dream come true, dude. We have two of these. You can find two of those in the world. We th That's our second time we got the same axe from a blue chest. It's pretty, uh, pretty ridiculous. Alright, flip this damn switch. Now what we're going to do, teleport stone again to speed this up. Who says teleport stones don't come in handy? League of Legends, uh, League of Legends and MOBA type games, huh? That makes sense because I feel like it's so easy to get into those games. It's easier, it's easy to understand those games, apparently. The, 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 the difficulty? When it comes to execution, execution wise, playing these games are probably a lot easier than playing like a competitive fighter where you don't have to remember uh, execution. You don't have to like, oh, oh, I gotta open this guy up. I, ain't, I, I you know, all that. You ain't gotta worry about cross ups, overheads. You ain't gotta worry about doing like crazy combos that can, you know, take off like 50, 60 percent of your damn opponent's health. You ain't gotta worry about doing crazy execution type stuff with your hands. That's why I think those games are like more popular because there's more people into them because it's easier to get into though to play it's easier to play those games. It's way easier to play those games I feel like. But I still don't understand them. I still don't see how people can play like uh, League of Legends or as my buddy Will likes to call it League of Lesbians. <laughs> I don't see how people can play those type of games like it just like man. <laughs> How can y'all do that? It looks crazy. Not, I don't even understand. When I watch gameplay, it's like, what is happening? 
and people be getting hyped. I'm like, where's the hype? What are you getting hyped for? <laughs> he didn't do a freaking FADC in the Ultra off of a, uh, a short confirm. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's crazy, but those games apparently are a lot more easier to get into because they're easier to play. But like Street Fighter or com like any other competitive fighter are just harder. But anyway, here we go. We saved it and we're going to get the Dark Knight now. Who ordered this meeting anyway? And why all the way down here? CSGO, I huh? hear that some hotshot new counselor has been proposing major tax cuts. A new counselor? But who? <laughs> it was I. Dio. Hear ye, hear ye. Counselor Cammer, Minister. Shut up. Minister Cammer? Shut up. Fellow Shut up. As you are. Shut up, we know. Yeah, yeah, we're aware. No need to explain. Thank you. What? That's right. Tell her. Okay, so. Grandship is unique because of its generous poor laws that help old folk and orphans. Precisely. At the same time, with no industry to speak of, the country is having a hard time paying for the handouts. Indeed! You have listened well! So, you want to cut taxes in a really big way and stimulate the nation's economy? Oh yes, that's it exactly! At the same time, you'd abolish all the poor laws, effectively abandoning the people who rely on them. Meanwhile, Alternus here wants to preserve the current system and continue helping the weak. Unfortunately, that costs serious money, which is bound to run out, and sooner rather than later. That about sums it up, right? I would quibble with some of the language, but you have the gist of it. Yes, it is a fair summary of the situation. She is the daughter of the Grand Marshal of Eternia? Surely she can help us! She can show us a way out of our predicament! Uh, speak, girl, you have... All right. Here's what I think. You need to cut the taxes. You better not fight me, Altonis. My dad will kill you. Literally. You... you have to reduce taxes. Even if it means abolishing the poor laws. Ilya, not you too! Has this man poisoned your mind? No, I'm thinking clearly, Alternus. Your poor laws are wonderful. I truly believe that. And I understand why you want to protect them. But they have to be sustainable. Someone has to pay for them. If the country collapses, no one will be protected. What use will your poor laws be then? You sorely disappoint me, Idia. You would so callously abandon those in need? No! It's not like that! I don't care! No, but it is! Damn! If you are prepared you to fight me over some politics? And his inhumane policies, you leave me no choice. <laughs> I warn you, Idia. Is this your final decision? This don't make no damn sense, dude! How is a loyal person gonna try to fight a day? Like, this don't. This is this fight doesn't make sense. They've been through They've been through so much together and now they're about to fight to the death. Like t trust me, if I win, he's going to stay alive. If I die, it's game over. It's rip. I'm dead. I'm on the ground bleeding. Meat chunks everywhere. And this dude over here killing me because he he don't want me to cut the poor taxes. No one damn well he don't even live here. This fight doesn't make sense. That's right, I support <laughs> I support Kramer from uh Seinfeld. Then the debate is over, India. My sword will speak for the orphans you would abandon. Uh she might be out of ghost because of this. I am the Dark Knight, alter to dim. You would forsake the common people? You will taste my anger and my steel! I don't understand. They've been through so much and now that they, they fight like this. 
They fight like this randomly, like... <sighs> I tell you what, we're gonna default. Just to be on the safe side, we, he's a dark knight, so he can inflict dark stuff. So we want to have elemental barrier on T-Dog. And T-Dog, of course, you're going to want to do Soul Mirror on yourself. Strategy. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. <laughs> nah, I'm going to need you to check yourself before we riggedy riggedy wreck yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to default, he's going to use Spirit Barrier just in case. Nah fam, nah fam, default, 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 uh, we put Spirit Barrier on, we have Physical Reflex still for one more turn, I could actually probably present no, that would probably result in a game over. That wouldn't make sense. If I possessed an enemy, and then the rest of my party was ghosted? That'd be broke! Think about it. No, that'd be a game over. That had to be a game over. This just That wouldn't make sense to have nothing but ghost and then possess somebody? Where you don't get hit? <laughs> no, that's game over. I'm, I'm sure that's a game over. I'm not even gonna try it. So, what we wanna do here... You know, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump, my dude. <laughs> Down to be a dick. Ha! I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Now you ain't got... <laughs> There's nothing you can do. You gotta hold these these meteors, my, my dude. He's gotta hold these meteors now. All foes. We're going to... Spirit rain all foes. Nah, fam. <laughs> Why are you hurting yourself? The nation of my dreams is no more. I'm pr yeah, yeah. Self possessed would just kill us. I'm like. Well, if I just possess this dude and have everybody's go, I'm pretty sure that's game over. Even if technically it doesn't make sense because you're possessed, you can just use like magic bottles from your own inventory by possessing the enemy. I don't know. I guess I guess the coding got kind of weird and they didn't want to do it. It got too difficult for them to code all that. <laughs> I don't know. You obtained the dog asterisk. GG, my dude. Life points stay at 8,000. My life points stay at 8,000. <laughs> Boom. We jumped in the sky. There was nothing he could do. No one he can talk to. Because I'm ghosted, it skips all the dialogue regardless. So if this, like... If it, if the battle if the battle starts out in this dialogue, you'll be out of ghost stat. But if you're in ghost stat during the battle, if you're in ghost stat during the battle, I think it just skips dialogue. Because if a specific character is either I wanna say in the sky or ghosted, the dialogue is completely skipped. Which makes sense, which would actually be really good for speedrunners. So you didn't have to freaking sit there and skip all that text. Ugh, curse you! Wait, the alternate! GG, my boy. Wonderful! Your father would be proud of you. Now it's time to put this nation back on its feet. Soon we will be able to rebuild our infrastructure. Slowly but surely. Huh. For now, we must work to replenish our coffers, while helping the poor as much as possible, of course. Not everything is black or white. With compromise and moderation, perhaps we can have our cake and eat it too. 
I trust you'll find a way. All right. The taxes on foodstuffs were cut to almost nothing. I can't tell you how much easier things are now. Yeah, since the tax reform, business has been booming all over Grandship. Oh, I'm starving. Me too. It's too bad about the poor laws, though. The orphans have had a rough time of it. And what about Alternus? He hasn't been around much. Not since the engine room meeting. You better go catch him some fish. You better go catch some sashimi, some tuna. Feed these kids some tuna. Better get the fishing. He's been running all over the place trying to help the orphans. I guess it's not easy to keep the coffers full and look after the poor at the same time. Perhaps. And perhaps not? Huh? All right, everyone. Time for the Eat Your Fill Buffet. Eat your fill? Yeah, with the tax cuts, the merchants are finally turning a profit again. And they've been donating their extra profits to help feed the children. Aw, ain't that sweet? Oh, he don't say. Wow, that's really generous. Beg your pardon? I heard there were some children here looking for work. You bet there are, right behind you. Oh, don't you two look keen. If you apprentice with me, I'll pay for your schooling. What do you say? I'm not about to waste time and replay a battle just for some extra dialogue. Nah, it's not worth it. You got it, mister. We'll I'm not work gonna do hard it. and study hard, too. With the nation's economy improving, people are taking up the slack to look after the kids. Hey, if I was using items... Of itself. If I used items, which I was complaining about before, the lines wouldn't have got skipped. But now that we're using a different strategy, which y'all wanted, y'all complain about lines being skipped. Y'all can't have both. <laughs> I think so too. It was all thanks to you, Idia. Oh, I didn't really do anything. I just said what was on my mind. Idia, my dear, the food won't last forever, you know. Aren't you going to dig in? <laughs> you don't have to ask twice. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. All right. Mm, oh, I just thought about something. I just thought about the worst thing possible. I thought about the worst thing possible. If we have to fight, if we have to fight the possession dude, if he takes possession of T Dog, that's an instant game over. <laughs> that's an instant game over. There's nothing else we could do. He would just possess him and it's GG. So if that happens, we'll jump. We'll immediately jump. But we just did all the side quests. We did everything. We did all the side quests, all the asterisks. We're missing three classes. One's probably the Kaiser, of course. The other one is the Yokai. What is the last one? Yokai. Kaiser. So yeah, it, it doesn't matter how I played, the same people complain. <laughs> See, I, I didn't told y'all. I said this would happen when I switched strategy. But you know what? I mean, I am playing the game. But anyway, what, what's the last class? There's Yokai. There's Kaiser. Are we missing another one I may have missed? What's the last class? We're missing one more class. That's interesting. Alright, so I think that's it. So now we have to get to the Earth Crystal, the Water Crystal. I think it's the Earth Crystal, right? So we're gonna go fly over to the Unahana. Yeah, we're gonna fly the Unahana. No, not Unahana. We're gonna fly over. Yeah, screw it. Where's autopilot? Autopilot. Aizen. To the Harina region. We're gonna go to Al Campus. We're gonna heal up here. I 
All right. So what we're gonna do here, guys? We're gonna actually sit here, save the game, take a short break, and once we come back, we'll be back with the cannon, the story to advance the story. We're gonna see what's gonna shake. We're gonna, we're gonna see what's shaking with the story now. It's been like maybe three hours, four hours, five hours of gameplay we did, and uh, we're gonna see what's happening next in the story. So I'll see you guys next time.